uh, Hickman, do you see him a little bit re-energized? I mean, now that he's settled with you, maybe a little bit more? Yeah. When we first got here, I was the one that was in his home recruiting him. So he's back to me. He's back home. Um, we are obviously trying to work on putting on a little bit more weight for him, but he's doing a tremendous job. Uh, every single day he's getting better. Uh, we're trying to really, really detail some of his landmarks as far as coach, as uh, far as blocking, but he's he's very, he's very been a very pleasant surprise for us, uh, and he's gained confidence of everybody on the team. And NFL scouts here, and look like they're focused on the tight ends a little bit. What, what kind of opportunity do your seniors have this season? Those guys have opportunities to, to, to showcase their abilities. Um, coach Lubick and Coach Frost has basically kind of stepped, back, stepped up on the offensive end and, and re-energized the tight ends to de design some plays to get those guys the ball more, uh, change a little bit of the reads for the quarterback so our, it's more of a first read for those guys in certain plays. So they're pumped about it. Uh, they're seeing a ball, a lot of balls coming their way. Um, Hickman had a 70-yard touchdown down the seam yesterday. Travis and, and uh, Austin has been catching the ball extremely well, and uh, young Nate Borkacher Bur has, has done a tremendous job for us also. Really, really picking up on things and catching the ball. We keep a drop count um, every single day. Uh, those guys, we've never had this many catches uh, this quick in a, in a camp. So that kind of tells you where we are with the tight ends, getting those guys the ball. What are your early impressions of Adrian's camp? Oh, Adrian's, it's night and day. Um, as far as his mechanics, his leadership, his confidence, um, you can see it. I told him yesterday I love where he is, keep his head where it is. Uh, he's performing at a high level. He's demanding a lot out of himself and demanding a lot out of his teammates. If Austin Allen jumps up or Travis is up there and he's not up, he's calling for those guys to get up. So that kind of shows you his maturity and where his head is right now. He, he's playing at the highest level I've ever seen. So now he's got to continue that. He can't go backwards. You got to make sure you continue to strive forward and keep leading this, this offense and this team. Was it? Was it? Is it? Is he playing like he did in the spring, or did he go to another level? He went to another level. He went to another level. Whole another level. And we're excited about it because that's the Adrian Martinez we've been wanting to see. Uh, he's really, really at a good spot right here. And everybody across the board, the team knows it, and they're following him. When the team follows the quarterback. You really don't have a great team. You playing on a high level. What's your eagerness to see not just your tight end, but the whole collection of receivers together? I mean, when we were watching today, you're, you're big. You guys are big out there. Yeah, that's one of the things that we want to get bigger in this league. Uh, once we got up here, you know, American Conference, we, we can get away with smaller guys. We want to get big. And you can see where we, where we are. We're big at tight end, even even though we're young with some of those young guys, Rollins and Carney. You can see the stature; those guys are going to be big. But receivers that we have uh, across the board, those guys are really, really playing well. Also, uh, you can tell those guys really worked hard this summer when we won around. And again, it goes back to Adrian Martinez, Cam, Jerry, Travis. Those guys really taking ownership of what we need to do in the offseason. And you can see the difference. We walked out the first day after coming off the field, and that was day one. It looked like practice seven. When that happens, though, that means your guy, your, your guy put in the work over the summer. Hey, how, how maybe can you guys get a little bit better in the red zone offensively? Um, you know, what have you guys kind of examined, looked at, and as to how maybe you are throwing the ball? Yeah, down in the red zone, Coach Lubick and myself have really, really put in a lot of time, watching a lot of NFL tape. Uh, obviously. We last year with the tight ends, we used them more than we've ever did. We're going to accelerate that a little bit more. Um, there's some packages coming that we are going to introduce probably the end of this week. Um, we have a base scheme, and that base scheme, what we're doing is, is going to carry us throughout the entire year, and then we're going to have some wrinkles off of it. So when you get down in the red zone, obviously your bigger targets, we got bigger receivers, and we got bigger tight ends. Obviously, we want to get those guys the ball more. And the thing about it down in the red zone, everything's closed. So ball placement is important. And that's where Adrian Martinez and, and the quarterbacks, I tell those tight ends and the receivers, you're always open down there. The quarterback will give you the ball, and you just got to go make a play. From my studying, 
people are running routes, the same routes that they normally run throughout the season. But the windows are tighter in the ball placement, and you got to go get it. You got to outfight those guys for the ball, and that's the mentality we're going to have down there. How do you feel like the last couple of years have gone that way? I think there's only been five or six touchdown passes in the last two years from the quarterbacks. Is that yeah. are you saying that's kind of on your guys to do better there? Or? It's it's really on all of us, coaching staff for one to start. We've pushed up red zone in our installation this year, so we can get more work out of it. Um, that's one of the things that we were weak on, and Coach Frost examined the areas. That area was one, short yard was one. Every, all that's been moved up in our install. Normally we will install that at the back end of camp. We're going to get that in earlier, both of those units, so we can get better, so we got more time to really iron out and detail those so we can be better in that area. What are, what are all your roles with special teams, and how's it look so far with what you're focused on? Coach Dawson has been awesome thus far in what he's doing. He's got really got those guys energized. He's really harping on details. So uh, our special team unit is doing tremendously. I'm more focused on the kickoff return guys, uh, punt return guys, and then I'm gunners and basically jammers. And then kickoff, I'm working with the interior guys, making sure those guys are really getting down the field playing at high tempo and getting off blocks and making plays. So we all as a staff have an area uh, to coach. And we're the, Coach Dawson is demanding all coaches, all hands on deck, to coach your position. And if your guys is screwing up, that's on you. So uh, as a staff, he's re-energized staff on special teams. Do you have any early favorites return man-wise? And is there a newcomer who could get in that mix too? Uh, right now, Cam is a punt returner. Uh, Oliver Martin has been a punt return. Broder Belt's done some good things back there. Um, Kamani Grimes has really shown me, a true freshman, uh, really showed me that he can be a punt return guy down the road. Uh, kickoff return today was the first day that we kind of worked that, that phase of things, so I'm, the jury's still out there. But Omar stuck back, jumped back there and did some things, and uh, Xavier Betts jumped out kind of impressed me a little bit. So i got to continue to work those guys back there on the kickoff return phase of things. See where they are. Cam will be back there. Some Oliver, uh, Omar surprised me a little bit how smooth he was back there. So he could be one of those guys. Back Were they? There. Do those guys kind of beg you to get a shot at it? Yeah. Or how's that work? I had a whole line at the end of practice today. Guys came out of nowhere. It was about 30 guys back there. So first day we've ever we've done it this this camp, and a bunch of guys showed up to audition. Uh, Step was even back there. Some of, all the running backs came back. So we're just trying to figure out. Who can do it back there for us? We have a depth chart made, but obviously the first day we're just trying to feel out and who can do it. How much of the, how much of the kickoff return piece is just decision making? Because that seems like something that you know knowing when to go, and especially now with the the, the new rules, with the, the the touchback stuff. I mean, how much is just knowing when to go or not? Well, kickoff return is, is an attitude. As far as those guys up front blocking it and. We got to do it. Have a better attitude up front, first of all, blocking it up front, and then decision making on the back end is critical. We've we've talked about a lot of different situations where balls going out of bounds, let it go, balls close on on the sideline, grounding it, so you get a penalty. So all those scenarios came up yesterday in our meeting, and as we continue to progress on uh, decision making, we're gonna try to incorporate every single uh, practice. When kickoff return, whether it's a square kick, when do you charge it, and all those different things, when do you let it go out of bounds. So there's some coaching to go along with that, yes. What's, what's uh, Why is Cam Taylor written number one? What is it about him as a punt returner uh, that makes him the top guy right now? Because he, he catches the ball uh, extremely well. Uh, I know he had the hiccup last year against Iowa. Um, uh, he's learned from it. He's the first one over there every single time that we're working. We're working it after practice with him a little bit, trying to keep his eyes focused all the way down on the catch. You know, so he's working extremely hard. But I'm, I'm, I'm not scared to put Oliver Martin back there. Really? Yeah, Brody Belt has done a great job back there, and then Kamadi Grimes has done a great job. Okay. And I started working with Omar uh, two days ago. That's work in progress right now. But he can do it because he's natural. But Cam is, he's natural. Right when he's focused, he's really good. John, with the experience in your position group, this has to be a lot of fun for you. Being yeah. out here at fall camp, knowing that 
know, it's, it's less introductory and it's more advanced stuff. Have you thought that? It is, but I'm always keeping those guys uncomfortable. Uh, yesterday, Austin, the leader, didn't finish on the block. So I went, ran up and yelled at him more than anybody uh, could see, uh, has seen from me uh, all year, you know, in camp. And those other guys felt that. I do have a lot of young guys coming behind that's learning from Austin and those guys. So I got to keep those guys on the edge, and I got to make sure those guys are not get comfortable um, with, with their, what they're doing because it's easy for them because they know it and they're executing on a high level. And when they, as soon as they slide off, they're going to tell you I'm going to go get on them just like I do some of the young guys because the young guys are watching them. Did that catch Austin by surprise? Yes, it did. <laughs> yes, it did. But it was good to see it. Good to see his reaction. His reaction was, I, Coach, I, I know I got to do that. You know, so. Hey, Sean, we've, we've heard a lot of good things about Gabe Urban, and I know you know that area. He's from so well recruiting wise. Mm -hmm. what, what about him as a recruit popped out when you were looking at that area? Well, he's from a great school. Yeah. He comes from great coaches there. That program is a winning program. And to be honest, I've, I've been watching him for a long time. He's been a player there for a while at that school there. And I have a great relationship with those coaches and we had the opportunity to get him when he decided to come to us. We knew he was going to be a, a pretty good player for us. Now he's still got a lot of work to, to go. Everybody's praising him. I'm not praising him at one iota right now because I know he's got a lot of work to get done and um, he's going to be a good player for us, but he's still got to put in the work. John, are the quarterbacks getting the ball uh, to the tight ends where they need it? Yes, they are. They, they really, Coach, Coach Mario uh, has really got those guys in tune. Uh, they put the ball right where they need to, whip, to get it so they can go make plays after the catch. And that's one of the things that we're harping on this year as a tight end group. Once we catch it, we're not going to just sell them going down. One of the things that we did last year, once we caught it, we kind of failed all right, or didn't expect to finish a play. So we're really working on catching it and then getting up the field and go get me four or five extra yards. Hey Sean, Coach Ross talked about this a couple times with it being a smaller recruiting class and you're heavily mm -hmm. involved in that. Like, what type of challenges does that present for a staff knowing that you only have so many spots to fill? It, it is a challenge, but there's a big pool of kids out there, and we have a list of kids, so you just got to recruit them all. And with the small class, we can be a little bit more selective on who we're recruiting. We can do a lot more background. We can take less chances. So I see it as a, as a good thing. Uh, if we got less guys, that means we're going to try to focus in on a lot of different character issues, making sure we're not bringing character problems here, and you know, do a better job of technique as far as watching kids more technique-wise, watching more game film on guys uh, so we can make a really a better decision on guys as far as the overall talent. So it's kind of scaled things down. We got still got a big list, but we got our targets of guys that we really want to go to. Anything else for Coach? Good. Thank right. you, guys. Yeah. Thank, thanks a lot.